That's good. Watch this right here. We might get kicked out. Up the nitrous from there. Nice truck. Bull taco. Mike Finnegan's cars. Yeah. And brand new. I got good taste. It's a steal. Incredible. Who am I kidding? That's your size. Why are we here? Crime babies. Love it. Ranger alert. Yeah. What the cuss? You're such a rabble. Beautiful car. Theodore Roosevelt. I like that Hemi. Yeah. Wow. Ours is hideous. Slow dog. <laughs> it's counting taters. That's awesome. I love it. Go for it. Built to go fast. Wow. Yeah. Whatever you said. You count taters. Crazy. Terrible wreck. <laughs> Two nice wagons. Beautiful. Old wagon. Ah, very nice. Forestry service. Five head. Get her done. 429. Brigadier. That was literally. <laughs> Got it on video. Knocked out of your shoes. Give it to me. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Coming in hot. Quicker you're dead. <laughs> Welcome back to the Sleeper Dude channel. We're here with our two winners right here, the Pinto and the Gremlin. If you've watched our channel, they did back-to-back -back wins at Ford Fest and Mo Party. Now we're gonna see who the real champion is. We converted them over to drag mode now, and we're gonna take them to the drag strip. As you can tell, it's very cold out here. It's actually ice out here. We were planning on taking them to the drag strip week after week. It got delayed with weather or, you know, holiday stuff. So we're going to the very last drag race of the year. It's actually a track I've never raced at before. I've been there as a spectator, but never raced. So we're going to Paradise Drag Strip in Calhoun, Georgia. It was established in 1961. It's a really classic old drag strip, really cool track. So they're having their toy drive today. It's gonna be a car show, swap meet, and drag race. This one was bought for $2,000 at a yard sale and it's got nitrous on it. It's got a 302 in it and a C4 that's sometimes works. This one has the engine out of our old motorhome. It's a 360 high compression roller cam on methanol. Stock 727 with a torque converter. They both have eight inch Maverick rear ends. They both got 300 gears with a spool. They should be pretty evenly matched up on weight. So this should be a good race. Let's get the track and see what they do. Are y'all happy about waking up this early? No, but I'm I excited. Think it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun, but it is a little. A little it is early. It is, it is six thirty right now. We've already got up and got everything loaded up this morning. We got kind of a long drive down there. It's, it's actually starting in thirty minutes, so we're not gonna make it for that. But the racing doesn't start till eleven, so we should be able to check out the swap meet and the car show before we actually get to race. I'm excited about the swap meet. He's a swap meter, isn't he? <laughs> he really is. This is actually the first time I've ever towed on the Mud Doggers. Oh, yeah? We're testing them out two cars deep on the trailer. And the truck actually needed an oil change before we went to Indianapolis. So I still haven't got that accomplished. You always want that good black oil in your mm. towing <laughs> handy. I love our trailer. 24 feet is the perfect length to get two tiny cars on there. Or one of mom's cars on there. Exactly. I forgot to put gas in the truck, so we gotta immediately get fuel here. I can't believe we're going drag racing. It's been so long. I mean, of course we raced the Super Coupe at Ford Fest and stuff a year ago, but as far as racing like a, what I would call like a drag car, like something that's designed for drag racing, it has been beginning of 2020, almost four years since I've drag awesome. raced. It's crazy. Crazy. It's crazy. I've definitely missed it. If you go back and look on the channel, like, that's pretty much all our old videos was drag racing my Maverick and stuff. Are you a stripe checker? I felt bad for her. I'm putting 89 in it. Oh my gosh. It's towing heavy this morning. So far, so good on the mud doggers. Woo -hoo. Well, it says ice possible, drive with care, and change your oil. We've been to the track a few times over the years when it was this cold, I think. But Barely. 
usually shut down. Yeah, it usually is. It's pretty common for me though to be racing at the very first race of the year or the very last race of the year because <laughs> that's usually when I get it together enough to go. You're chomping at the bit. Yeah. There's the track we normally go to, but they closed down like a month ago, so that didn't work out. <laughs> you know what's crazy to me is we're towing two cars and a 24 foot trailer, and this transmission's at 126 degrees. That's crazy. It's awesome. Yeah. We pulled them over before pulling an empty trailer. That's true, we did. Yeah. Literal. We were pulling an empty trailer up Mon Eagle Mountain. I was in overdrive, I didn't think nothing about it because we were pulling an empty 16 foot trailer with nothing on it. Pulled it over. The kids were babies. I get hauled home on my own trailer. It's that technology. Yeah, it is that technology, isn't it? We finally made it to our exit down here in Georgia. And it's been a while. I'm trying to think. We came here, I think, when you were pregnant with Walt. I, I was going to say we may have had one child, but we didn't have three. Right. We were going to bring the Maverick down here, and I blew the turbo up the week be before. And we ended up coming and watching. So that's why I never so raced here. It's a pretty cool old track. Hey, look, doors on the outside, honey. Nope. Motel snob. Okay. We're here. Look at that old hand painted sign. That's an old sign. I love that sign. <laughs> it's so cool. Look at that. It's Mike Finnegan's last one. Uh huh. Uh, the Don Central is the only thing in our town to go get that, so. Yeah. I love the ramp truck. Yeah, I do too. One of my first body working jobs, we painted a ramp truck like that. We have seen Mike Finnegan at probably a dozen events. I've never talked to the guy. I've never tried to talk to him. I'm not much on going up and talking to people like that. So. Look at that big fan. Might talk to him today. I think the first time we saw the Blasphemy car, we were at Z-Max, and they drove it there from California. Yeah, that was when they very first built the car. We saw the car there. I done found a truck I'm in love with. What'd you find? That truck right there you passed. I don't see trucks when I pass them. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. This is cool. We're pretty close to the track here. I guess I'm gonna park right here. You guys can see the track right here. Okay. That's good. Ho, ho, ho. Did you see all that? She ain't in gear. I don't think that Pinto's in gear. Really? You should have seen it moving. Watch this right here. It's in gear. The transmission kind of decides when it wants to go into gear. Yeah, so. she ain't. She we'll ain't holding them too tight. Do you remember the rat rod truck that used to race here? Yes, I do. This was the first place we saw it too. And that's what I was thinking when you said the first It was car. like a 40-something international cab with a bone stock 350 Chevy in it. And the thing ran like, I think, fives. It was crazy oh. fast. He wasn't playing around. No. We have no idea what these are going to run. We've never had them down the track. I'll give you a rundown of what my cars have ran in the past. So, my 88 Turbo Coupe ran 920s. Mm -hmm. I had a Fox Body Mustang that ran 820s. I had my Maverick with a four cylinder ran 80s. My Maverick, when it had the big block in it, ran 660s. My LTD wagon ran 650s and the Starlet ran 590s. But the Starlet weighed 2,150 like pounds a and it was a twin turbo car. So um, order. I would love to see this car get down in the low seven is what I would love to see. I think it could. I mean, um, for sure. If it got down in the lower seven, 750s are supposed to have a cage. Mm -hmm. So if we run faster than 750s, we might get kicked out. Um, <laughs> this car here, like... I would love to see it run at least low eights. Would be nice, but I don't know if it's possible. We have all the nitrous jets with us, so we're going to start out on a 100 shot, and then we're going to up the nitrous from there. This car, we can do some tuning with the carb and timing maybe if we think it's you know not happy looking at the plugs, but... Let's go over to the swap meet. That thing gets too fast and you to pedal that thing. Yeah. Pedal it? Yeah. So I don't get kicked out of here? Yeah. <laughs> don't you have a coat squeeze? Yeah. That's not a coat. That's a long <laughs> sleeve shirt. Y'all already froze. We just got out of the truck. Yes. This thing looks like it might be a sleeper here, whatever's under that. I like the steelies. Yeah. Hopefully we'll get good traction in this cold weather. I don't know. If the track gets too cold, we might not. I do like that. See, I'm, I'm a fan of that look right there. It's like a power cast. So that's that that's is what we power need cast. on them. On that K15. That's a nice truck. You got a Cummins in it, full drive. Check out the Catalina. Oh man, look at that. Bull Taco. Look at the cylinder head size on these. Yeah, I love my vintage oh, motorcycles for sure. Ralph will be trying to talk them out of that. Not too money, I <laughs> You ain't got no money. You got a hundred bucks, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is all going to be show cars here drag cars back there but it's real early of course you know we're here before it actually starts racing and stuff 
We got the center block steps. Tosh, you'll feel right at home. <laughs> I don't know if they still do it this way, but I think this is the burnout box down here and you drive up the hill to race. You can see it's kind of uphill as well. Probably run a little bit different times here than you would at other places. I grew up racing at Buffalo Valley Dragway and you run slower there because it's uphill. There's all Mike Finnegan's cars again. I can't remember the name of this car. Do you guys remember? Rubber Ducky. Mom's in the know. I don't watch any of their stuff anymore because I ain't got no time. I like the big casings on it, huh? It looks rowdy. Look, they do burnouts on asphalt. That's unusual. Usually that's concrete. Don't be looking at Yamaha there. Look at that Junior Dragster. I like the gold hoops on there. Those Junior Dragsters have got fast now. Yeah. Used to, they were slow, and they have gotten really fast. I bet I can make a killer one. You bet you Predator could. Predator 212. Lance Stone. Cut off that muffler. Come on. Get a... That's all you need. Cut the muffler off. It's fast. Not everybody's open yet, Tosh. Can you believe it? I'm going to strangle him. Mm -hmm. How much are you asking for your intake? The 348 stuff. Big box Sherry roller cam. Ralphie's smart case. Off of a diesel. Yeah. It's a cool intercooler though. I like the intercooler. What they call the, the bread box intake. This one makes more power than that. Because he done buying something. 20 meters, 7 minutes. He done cracked that wallet open. It takes me 7 years to get that wallet open. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Listen, here's what you want to do. First thing, you want to get something heavy you got to carry all day. First thing, that's good. That way you get your steps in and get your, burn your calories. Get your cardio up. Look at these. Yeah, little guy. Oh, he's he, over He's got it himself. Oh, Oh. He's got his hot dog. Check out these, these seats right here. Hey. Those are band seats. Those are the big stands like that. Those are right there. Monocrawl SS, I know them anywhere. Dad had one of them. There's your nitrous kit, Ralph. They're brand new. Nice, huh? Yeah, they are. Look at batteries, Mom. Yeah. Guys, nice, huh? The only thing about it, them real kings is cheaper than that. I know that. Look at everything else fit. It looks good, don't they? They do look good. Ralphie's always trying to get me to buy more tunnel rims. Yeah, you do. Look at that intercooler. 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 Look at that like he needs a red wine. I think that's made for a smaller kid, huh? Yeah. You're too big. Yeah, I already got a better version of that. Keep walking. Keep walking. Hi, there's in the bed. Antique stuff. This is big wheel. Oh man, that's cool. Look, Squeeze just found lotion kits over here. Mom's looking at antiques. You can't take them nowhere. No, you really can't. You gotta work on that skincare, don't you? That's funny, like the hoop is for a car and it's mounted off the side. It is cool. What? It's $3 for what? A lotion kit. It's a steal. That'd be $3. <laughs> is this um, a gift or a loan? Why well, can't be both? <laughs> <laughs> she don't need to know. Ralphie spotted him some casings over here. He's a shopper too. I like the little tea bucket looking deal. Is this a Cushman back here? That's what we need to haul junk around. It's I've pretty seen, neat, isn't it? Yeah, I've seen those in the marketplace. You've seen them in the marketplaces? Yeah, I forgot what they're called. I think it's a Cushman, maybe. Yeah, yeah, Possibly. yeah. Possibly. Arm load of lotion down there. As soon as I heard lotion come out, I thought, oh gosh, oh, squeeze. Can you believe that deal? Incredible. I, deal. <laughs> I figured you'd have an antique that we was gonna put in the corner somewhere. I'll probably have it back as soon as I got some of your money. Uh, Mom likes the antiques. And I like the hot rod parts. I like the casings. You like the casings? Is that what you're here for? And old bikes. 
Yeah. Rough old coot Mustang here. I'm more of a Falcon guy than a Mustang guy though. Oh man, the whole corner's wrecked. That's that old school, isn't it? Old school go to. That's all we had when I was a kid. It's five horse rigs. Always need more gas cans. That's true. What's he got on the back of his truck? What's he got? That's a big case. They might kids. We're eyeballing some F-150 hoops and casings out here. We're just trying to get the guy to get his heart right. <laughs> and things ain't cheap these days. It's brand new, still in the plastic. It's still in You got a price tag on it? That's your size. I just got a normal one. What, who? Oh, okay. Shoes. Mike was here. He just played and bought one. Visors make them look mean. Oh, it's for sale. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you don't need that. Do you guys know what that is? A radio. Radio. Or a talker. Intercom, isn't it? Is it intercom? It's a little, um. It's when you went to the drive-in movie theater, you put that in your car um, to hear what was going on. Is that a gas tank we need? Look at these lockers. We don't need that stuff. See that Thunderbird deal. glove box? Man, oh. look at that. It's like dirt. We might need that. Cast. Do we need That's it? Easy. No. Oh, you're here, you're here, Kim. Dude, that's what you need. That stuff don't look sturdy. He got all them valve bodies, torque converters. He got them all. Get that money out again. Already. I ain't bought nothing yet. I gotta find <laughs> me something to buy. <laughs> Unless these steps were wider. He need no help. He saw a go-kart and thought he wanted to see. <laughs> We actually got five. I gotta go back for another one. I didn't know it was five. I thought it was just four of them. Yeah, that's a spare. Oh, I'm already beat. <laughs> we hiked him up a hill. Usually I'm the one that buys the heavy stuff. Yeah, that is true. Usually you are. Ooh. Now that's why you go to them things. Swap meets. Yeah, that's why you go to swap meets. Always get a good deal on cases. Why are we here? I'm so cold. <laughs> it's warm oh. enough. Well, how about y'all can warm up in the truck and I'll go back and get those. Yay! I'll go with you. Okay. You love miniature stuff, don't you? And look how cool this came in. Look, it like, twists like a little... Three bags. Sweet deal. If you get two more since you gave me $10, then we can get one for Mimi and one for Mama. Neither. Oh, is this... I get my change back yeah. now, finally? Yeah. Thank you. So, she's like, I'm not giving that change back, back pocket it. <laughs> you want me to get two more of them yeah. for Mimi and Mamma? Okay. We'll be back. We'll be in the track. I don't blame you. Is this a snack booth? We got like a lemonade stand here. Yeah. Squeeze will be in on that, won't you? We got the racing trucks pulling in. I look how high that Nova sits in the back. It's got the shackle mod. Yeah. Get her done. This got slab bars on it. Sitting on center lines. Very nice. Oh, we got crying baby action <laughs> spotted right there. Crying babies. They put a nice rear end cover. Oh, they did chrome and slappy bars. Probably jacked up the rear end so they can see it. Very nice. Hey, look at the van pulling a van coming in. I like that those '90s Dodge vans like that. Yeah. I like the old direct connection and moon eyes stuff on it. Side pops. You see that van's got side pops. Both of them do. That's a cool tow rig, huh? Look at that battery. Oh, cool. That battery's getting her done. That is a killer frame. Fuel cell. I'm gonna say oh, that's like a 400 cc motor. Yeah. I, I could be wrong. I Look, billet like side cover and check out that clutch. That's a small chain. It's very cool. I love how wide these are. It's like they're wider than they are tall. Yeah, and a fuel cell. I bet that's fun. Mom would rip it on that. You gotta watch her on the go-karts. Oh, here he goes. Couldn't help himself. Dad's supposed to be here later. Yeah? Yeah, he says he's coming, yeah, so. Daddy, buddy. Yeah, Discount Daryl, AKA, my name is Craig. <laughs> and they got a line for Finnegan stuff now. We didn't set up this time. This was kind of like a last minute deal because he got delayed two times. We didn't know if we were coming or not, so didn't really get a chance to announce it. But it's got a jack shaft on this. I think that's a five horse bridge I base. Say, I think it looks like. Yeah. Look at the thing around the spark plug. I guess that's a way to kill it or something. Pretty cool. Look, we got cars in the weeds here. Hey, 
got a heater. They know what's going they on. They do know what's going on. They got a propane heater over there. All right, we're going through again here because there's more people coming in. There's a bunch of racy stuff. I like those. 29 and a half, 10 pounds. You see that spray on the quarter panel? Yeah. You know what that is? No. It's called guide coat. So you spray the primer, then you mist the black on there. When you sand it, it shows all your imperfections, all your pinholes, sand scratches, oh, low places. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It really helps you get a car straight. Check out that <laughs> quick fuel dominator. I knew you'd like that. I've never owned a dominator yet. This reminds me of like a livestock sale when you go there. As people are coming in, they're like, hey, how much you want for this? Like, you know, they'll try to buy your goat off of you or your cow before you even make it to the sale. But they're just swarming these trailers as they pull in. I gotta get squeezed some more lotions. I think it's a 57 Chevy Dash there. That thing's only 5,000 bucks. That's not bad, really. It's a four-cylinder auto, but still be fun to cruise around and mom would love it. Yeah. I hope that van's running the drag strip today. I so hope. It sounds like all the Yeah. You need some saw blades, Ralphie? No. <laughs> Love it. It's a cool old fair lane. I like that. I like the blue. Nice door panel. That's better than most of the ones we buy, isn't it? Yeah. It looks like it don't have a motor though. It's sitting up too high in the front. He's gonna confirm. Yeah. Confirmed. He said, you wanna go stand by that heater and act like we're looking? <laughs> they have no idea. They're being played right now. <laughs> <laughs> He's letting all the bought air out, isn't he? Yeah. All right, we're going to grab up our other casing and head back. I got some carb spacers for five bucks a piece. Can't beat that. You only get that kind of stuff at swap meets. That's why I like going. Hey, carburetors. <laughs> Ranger alert. You like that Ranger, don't you? When competition is coming in, Moody Blue's here. I've been trying to talk Tosh into buying one of them Navis. It's got a trunk in the front of it. They're like 1700 bucks. Why won't mom buy one? I don't know. Have you seen them without the trunk? It's like an empty space. Yeah. So much room for an engine. She must be saving up in her envelope. I don't even know if mom's got an envelope, honestly. She probably is saving up for the envelope itself. Yeah. Ready to roll, I see. I like the gold leaf on the lettering on the side. That's really nice looking. So this thing's got a Hemi in it. I believe it's got a T56, maybe? He may have changed now, I don't know. I think it used to have one at least. Yeah, I hope he runs it today. It's a pretty cool car. This guy right here knows what's up. Yeah! I just realized I was gonna get selling parts. Might need some. <laughs> LT stuff. Look at that seat there, Ralph. Pretty cool, isn't it? I'd have been over here earlier if I realized he was selling stuff. I bought my opinion in seats. I think mom will like them though. How are we gonna get these like? Um, We're gonna try to make it back. Ralph is gonna roll the casing. I got one of the seats, we're gonna come back for the other one. Backwards down the stairs. We're all the time needing seats, aren't we? We don't have any cars with good seats. Not at all. Ralphie thinks he can make it down the hill. I don't know about that. You're holding up traffic, Ralph. <laughs> good job. Oh, he's definitely gonna beat me back. What the cuss has he got now? A seat? Let him go back by himself and here he comes with more. I may have bought a set of seats for Mike Finnegan. What? I didn't know he had stuff for sale. A pair of brand new seats. 200 bucks for both of them. That's awesome. Yeah. We realized afterwards they don't exactly match, but that's fine. So I gotta go back and get another one. Did you get Squeezy's lotion? Yes, we got Squeezy's lotion. And some car spacers. Cool. I don't know where we're gonna fit all this. Oh, good idea, Ralphie. The man himself. Flip right. loss is 30 degrees out here. What are you talking about? Fleet, you three Standard issue footwear. Good morning. You got your message ever sleeping. You got a pretty good swap meet over there. Yeah. You see that white Ranger drag truck down there? Dang, son. I, I feared you'd like that. I bet that thing's a ripper. Guaranteed ripper. Hopefully we're faster than some people here. Surely. Nothing like a trip to the drag trip to let you know how slow you are. A car that feels really fast on the street compared to like a full on drag car, it's like night and day. Yeah. Have y'all seen the lemonade stand over there? I'm eyeballing it. I see they got hot chocolate. I ain't got no money. You got all my money. Here, wait, I got a dollar. There you go. <laughs> hey, you ain't getting that 10 now. <laughs> Maybe two dollars. Oh, I got it. <laughs> We're gonna go get our other seat from Finnegan. We'll be back. All right. 
Mama likes them C10s up there. I like them lowered like that. Oh, it's got an intercooler. That thing's bouncy. He was on power tour drag me down. Oh, yeah? Are you ready for the cold cocoa melon? It's cold, isn't it? I always hate being in my fire suit when it's hot weather, so this will be perfect. It gets really hot in that fire suit. Yeah, 75 for that. I'll try good. All right, cool. Already bought your seat. Oh, those are great seats. Yeah. You're going to like them. What were they? Did you have them in something or? They were briefly in my C10. Okay. Actually, one of them was. I didn't both. One's got brackets here. Yeah. Well, you can't beat that. 75 bucks for a 440 intake. We got a 440 car. Yeah. Look, the old van's drying the track off, I guess. It's got the same front end as our van, doesn't it? Our motorhome. I drove down when I came in. You drove down the track? Yeah, I went right uh, down. They let people do that. You're such a rebel. No, I mean, I couldn't see how to pull. I was already, I was already up above that. Yeah, yeah. I almost went straight. It, it's hard to tell. What was your time? <laughs> she's telling everybody where we're going she's just like a big get over here she says get over here <laughs> oh man look at this falcon sprint this is just like the car we just bought man same color and everything that one's a sprint though man look at the seats golly a manual i love this wooden steering wheel and everything see it says sprint back here ours says futuro you know yeah man it's tubbed that's a beautiful car. It says probably $30,000. Yeah. yeah. Hey, enough work. Ours could look just like it, you know? You buy enough things and do enough work. You need a lot of money, though. That's beautiful. I love it, yeah. We need some bumpers like that, huh? Yeah. Ranger alert again. Yeah, that's the one I saw going in. It's got, hey, it's got slappy bars, skinnies, and big. That's my, my jam right there. That's a splat version. Splash, yeah. I think it, or splash, whatever. Yeah, there's a four wheel digging. We got about an hour or so until it's time to race. Ralphie checking out another Ranger. Nice, huh? Nice. <laughs> My great grandpa, Theodore Roosevelt, he had one like that when I was a kid. It was a three wheeled one. $1,000 for best doctor. Oboes. Oh, yeah. Wasn't that Oboes? Yeah, Oboes. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I remember it sitting at his house when I was a little kid. He didn't have the money to play golf, but he played it. Exactly. Four. That's a grill. Looks like it's a big block Chevy. Actually, it's a big block Chevy Valkyrie with small block Chevy headers. <laughs> so we got some more stuff set up. Last chance on the saw blades. You sure now? What do you give and not back out? Nothing. <laughs> Dad's gonna be buying the saw blades, guaranteed. I like the old flashlights, huh? Is that what you carried to school back in the day? No, I didn't carry anything. When you walked I didn't, I didn't uphill walk both ways I didn't, I didn't walk to school. in the snow? It's crazy how far flashlights have come over the years. Like nowadays, this light will outdo one of them like crazy with yeah. brightness and stuff. Uh oh, you're in trouble, Dad. You're in trouble now. <laughs> I want to buy this. She wants to buy this, Papa. Nice race truck there. One time, all three of my grandpas drove S10. So. I like the Winnebago pulling the Fox Valley there. That looks like something I'd do. I'd like to eventually get ours where we can tow with it like that yeah. one day. Got the hood open now. I like that Hemi. Look at the cool packs out here. That's serious, isn't it? Big boy. Real serious. I know back in the day it was running like mid sixes and eighth, but I'm sure he's got down the fives now with it. I got hit with a bago. Yeah. Everybody's got a fox body. You ain't got no fox body. You were saying like everybody's got one. You ain't got one. We'll see, Mom. Ah, it's looking cool. Twins on that, son. Don't be looking at 63 and pile. I know how you are with them. Golly, that's a big one, huh? Wow, that front differential don't look big enough for that. 44s, 44, huh? 44s, yeah. Wow, that's huge. That's like our K15 there, huh? That's like the same truck we got in the field, except for ours is hideous. Ours is rusted out. It'll make a good wood truck though, huh? You can see the hoop from over here. That's crazy wide. That's the thing, I guess. Dually S10, Ralphie. That man's an innovator. It's got a big front yeah, axle too. Drive. Yeah, they made four drive ones, but they weren't. I don't think they were straight axle ever. Yeah, there's a Ranger, Ralphie. <laughs> F100 Ranger. Yeah. Oh look, it's got a Coyote in it with a Whipple coyote. and air conditioning. Awesome. Nice looking Mustang. I've always liked the sedan BMWs that are fast too. Nice Fox body. Check out the inline six and the little T bucket there. That's cool. Is that a Lark wagon back there? So there's your supercharged Camaro ZL1. Yeah. Man, it's crazy how much those cars cost. Yeah, so. I know, it's a lark. I like it. 
Well, the pits are starting to fill up here. We better get unloaded, huh? Yeah. Get our cars ready. We got too long now until they start racing. <laughs> Snacking and staying warm. They didn't have hot dogs. Hey, I'm like, I had breakfast. slow dog. Slow dog? I slow dog. Had slow dog. She had a ketchup cheese dog. Squeeze, they still got lotion over there. Believe me. We've sampled every one. Oh, goody, goody. She's all about spraying something or using some lotion yeah. or something. Look, still got that. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, that's that Ranger. Nice. That's got that chop chop, don't it? It's counting taters. Ralphie's over at the hot dog stand now. See, it's a good child here. It gives me the change bag. Oh, nice deal. All right, let's walk into pits. I love the drag racing pits. This is like my favorite. Big one. We used to drive these to work every day because we had a long drive and they were always good on gas. I like that color. Yeah, it is a nice color. I like in his van. I know, it's like ours. Look at the front end. Hey, she hits a lick, let me tell you something. I know. And the, you see the tower, the tow hauler? It's got side pops on it. You got the bed and the furry carpet and everything. Oh, fur? That's a classic right there, isn't it? That is awesome. They got that whip antenna, don't it? Oh, oh, this just takes it over the edge. Why don't we have a license plate like that, huh? I don't know. I didn't realize that they made them. Oh, uh -huh. we're going to look into that. Yeah, old school one, huh? Man, that thing is long. Look how much overhang there is past the rear axle there. Side pops and everything. That thing's super cool. That's what you need, Dad. Think of all the things you could haul. You know? That's true. That's extended. I guess that's called a 15 passenger van. Yeah, that's a big one. Look at that single wheelie bar there. You would think you would get up on the wheelie bar and go sideways, but. It's a pro mod, right? I, I would call it a pro mod. I don't know what it is. It's all glass body, yeah. It's pretty cool. Lightweight, built to go fast right there. It's a Studebaker Hawk or something, isn't it? Yeah. That's what I was thinking it was. You gotta get those bars real hot before you push them through the back glass, or it'll break it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got the Derby headers. Yeah, small watch Chevy. <laughs> nice. Looks like there's some cool racing cars here. I love that Winnebago. Look at that. Oh, I videoed him coming in. That thing's awesome. Probably got like a big 440 in or something. Oh, probably. Look at it. Fox body on the trailer. I wonder what do you take for the package deal? <laughs> Let him run a few times. He might give it to you. Yeah. Look, oh, it's a Rambler. I love it. Where they tagging walls. Wow. I love Nova's Falcons, Ramblers, and those smaller cars like that. Well, I think we're gonna unload the cars now, get them warmed up, check some fluids, make sure they're good to go. I'm worried about this one starting because it's really cold and it's methanol. It's like 38 degrees. Yeah, we'll see if it starts. You know what's funny? My toes aren't even cold. Your toes are like weather resistant. I'm so used to this, like I'm not even cold. I'm usually not this cold, but for some reason I froze up this Maybe morning. you shouldn't My fat in the truck cold. at 107 degrees all the time. 107. <laughs> I did have the heat cranked. Yeah, it was cranked all the way. I've been on the trailer for what, three weeks now? Yeah, I'm ready to use my trailer. We strapped them down thinking we were coming to this two weeks. We got postponed for rain. Ralphie can't help for eating. He's done back at the snack stand again. Uh, he's already had one burger. He's going back to get a He said it's one. the best burger he's had. He's a burger connoisseur.
carburetor. Is it better? Yeah, it's better. We switched to a 650 brawler carburetor on this thing, chokeless, more of like a race carburetor, you know, and more size correctly for the size engine we're running. It seems to be more responsive for sure. I'll give you a look at it. We got like almost all the way here. I was like, did I put those hood pins in? I thought, <laughs> the headers will keep it on. Oh yeah, that's a added protection. Look at that new car, purple. We also put a carb spacer on here so we can get to the nitrous jets easier because before you basically had to pull the carb to change the jets. Because our intake so short was a reason, but with this setup, we can change the jets out. You gotta get some heat in the motor, is what I've been told. Yeah. We're gonna check our transmission fluid level. This transmission is acting weird. You put it in drive, it waits like two or three seconds before it takes gear. what we would have done if we didn't find fuel in India. I know, that worked out, didn't it? Yeah. You're not really supposed to leave methanol in the fuel system, so we flushed it out with gasoline, and then we thought we were racing like three weeks ago, and then, you know, so it's been sitting with methanol, and hopefully it's okay. I really don't want to use starting fluid if I don't have to. I brought some two-cycle gasoline. We'll try that. Merchandise available at thesleeperdude.com. Also check us out on other platforms like TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook at sleeperdude88. Cold? That should be now. Mm. What is up? What is our problem? What is it? Do I need to go get the gas bottle? down there in the curve and like we just about didn't get her started back she gotta get a little heat in that yeah. methanol don't she I, whatever you said we put an optimum battery on it because we had trouble with it starting so we're hoping them fouls and cranking amps will help us most expensive battery i ever bought in my life 
I didn't video it, but I made a brace here for alternate because it was kind of shaky. Transmission looks good here. So hopefully we're good to go. Both of them have fresh oil changes and everything. I did some work to the throttle cable and made the throttle stop in the floor. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I won't break any more cables. That'd be good. Let's show them the throttle stop. I welded the metal box on the floor and that pedal can't go any farther than what the carbs can do. So okay. see how this goes. I also jetted down the carbs some because if you remember it had like 150s in it. We hurt the motor and then I put 170s in the front and 200s in the back just for burnouts because we want to give as much fuel as possible. Well, I put, I think it's got 176s all over the four corners. So still should be a little rich. Timing is the same it was, this one too. They're both set up with the same timing from burnouts. This one's only in the high 20 degrees. I believe this one's in a similar area to the 20 something degree range. So we should be real safe on our timing. We may bump some timing into this one uh, depending on how it goes. This one, we could tune with a laptop if Wall wouldn't have broken this wheel. I'm still a race walk. You count taters. Pinto's bridesmaid never a bride, huh? Look at all the tension the gremlin gets. Why don't they think these are safety? I'm, I'm not, not sure exactly. Not I don't I don't get it. You got a firewall. Come on. That's a cool way to do it, isn't it? So a cool thing they do at this track is they let you drive down the track to like warm your cars up, warm the track up. I guess I'll make a parade lap here. I wonder where you were. You bought the phone. take the panto down there.
like Gremlin's way jumpier. But this thing is going to be jumpy on nitrous, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. I hope the transmissions hold up because both of them have acted funny today. That's so cool to see them come down through there like that. What a neat deal when they let you drive down the track. Yeah. Well, we got great oil pressure, so all parts seem healthy. Did you have fun with it? You yeah. like that? That's pretty cool. I love that thing right there. That looks awesome. I like the team, Mom. Squeeze talked me into making another lap. She wanted to go. What is going on with her? Since when has she ever wanted to ride in oh. anything? It's probably because she drove that one. Oh, maybe so. You ready, Squeezy? Dad's Monte Carlo SS went 1050s, and your Mustang, I think, went 960s. So that gives you like an idea. A stock Monte Carlo and a stock Mustang. Hopefully, we can get the eights here. We've got a little bit of lead of 113 here. We're gonna top it off with that. It's got pump gas 93 in the in there, but this will give us a little safety mark. Wall's gonna ride with me here to get up to the line, help me with my burnout and stuff. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Well, here we go.
it's gonna be embarrassing if I get out ran by a van. So it's like the worst case scenario for it. And it's slipping. So I started off in first, and then when I felt like it needed to shift, I clicked it up and it just went like neutral. So maybe I'll try it again and just start off and drive and try it. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, it was like a bad. I thought you said it was like, it was Here's the time slip. I let off of it, I felt it go back in the gear, and I floored it again. Was you nervous up there? She was like walking through the stage and laying stuff. I could tell she's probably a little nervous. You didn't get a yeah. or nothing though? No, that ain't nobody even like looked over. I don't see any fluids on the ground. I was expecting to make weird noises and stuff, but it didn't. We might need to give this a chance to cool down and try the Gremlin. Checking her pressure too. I'm gonna set it down like probably eight or nine pounds. One of two things is about to happen. I'm either about to be really surprised with how quick this thing is, or we're gonna have a mechanical problem. I think if the transmission will hold up and go, and pull the whole way down, motor runs good. I think I'm gonna be surprised with this car. I just wish there wasn't any line in the staging lanes where I could just drive right up because starting and stopping is kind of a pain. Ready, Wall? Well. Yep, ready. Who owns 
Tim Kears. <laughs> I see it was smoking some out of the motor stuff. Ooh. How'd it do on the start line? Did it, did it look like it left pretty good? Yeah, I think so. 189.60 foot, 760 at 94. That's faster than my Maverick was when it was 30 pounds of boost on a 2.3. I figured it would be like a seven second car. I was really hoping to get the seven. That's only a tenth away from having to have a roll cage in it. Oh yeah, so, well that's a good time. Almost, oh, 94 miles an hour. That's a good mile an hour. Which if it had a better gear, it would definitely 60 foot better. It kind of stumbled. Did anybody notice that? It stumbled on a starting and then it cleared out and took off. I didn't notice. Yeah, it, it picked up a lot like after 60 feet. I was on the floor, but it was stumbling. I think it's loading up on fuel. It probably would help to lean it out now. Here's our times. We have beat both people in the other lane so far. Cool. These cars are nothing but winners, all right? <laughs> Even when they're pushing fluids out and not shifting, they're winning. Oh, Lord. Every time we run this thing, these T-bolts loosen up on us every time. We'll have to put something on them. We got oil up here in the front of the motor. I don't know what that's about. Why we got it up here. Well, I'll go get the hotels. Yeah, let's wipe this thing up. Look at all that. 
Was could, that there before the run? It's oh, it's worse. When you drove it up here, I could see it running down there. From where? From here? Yeah, from up, from up under there. Yeah, and it was like totally. I don't know why they loosen up so much. Vibrations. Oh, there you go. They just can't take the power. You're a little tool train at 716. That Tesla's letting her eat. How fast is it? It was a 660. Really? I know those Teslas. I've seen some run fives. Yeah. They're fast. They're super fast. The fact that that thing can stay that close to the drag is crazy. Oh, look. Our radiator has moved back. See how far back that is? It's not. No. We set the car up for burnouts. I never thought about it before we came. So this needs to be zip tied for Look at that hole it ate in the That's the stuff right here. That's what that, That's what that is. It probably sucked a bunch of it down the car for us. I just don't know why it's leaking out of that side and on this side, because they're both were loose. And so I was going 94 in second gear. Oh, Lord. Were you nervous? I'm always nervous. I'll be nervous till we go back home. Were you more nervous with the Gremlin? Absolutely. <laughs> it's a little rowdy, yeah. for sure. Maybe you did a turn burnout for days up there. I, I put her in high gear in the oh. burnout. Those, those slicks are like 10 years old. We haven't been here done this one time. Though. Oh yeah, we have broke transmissions in the burnout. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah. If everybody's wondering why Marge isn't racing today, it's because these cars are completely untested. It's a little bit of a sketchy track. You know, it's know. older track. I can't give her a little bit. I give her it all. So one day I'm sure you'll see her racing, but we're going to do it in a sorted out car in a safe manner. So Marge, don't put her in a wall. Exactly. We got we got to have Marge around. Driving in a straight line. It's going to be that hard. Hey. Until your throttle cable hangs open. Yeah. Until you panic. Come on. Try to get down here with a fire extinguisher, but it's already put out. So, oh, oh, that was a bad wreck. Spun on the line, and then he got down here and spun again, and just lit everything up. Man, that was crazy. That was a terrible wreck. We were sitting Man. here, and all of a sudden, I see flames. What the heck? Man, he That's he spun fault. on the starting line, and then he got traction. Then he spun again down here and hit the wall, and it must have ruptured the fuel cell because it was wild. immediate fireball. I was worried. We grabbed the fire extinguisher out of the grim one and ran down there but it was already put out so thankfully he's good to go oh man that's scary mom's gonna be freaked out now she's yeah. gonna be worried about me yeah for sure oh I knew he's gonna wreck. he spun and he got back in and it spun again quit doing that mess. hey when you're in the car you just you stay just in can't it. Help it can't, can't help it mm, that was it. that's one of the worst wrecks i've seen yeah, with the fire it was, a nice car too. Oh, it was a beautiful mustang yeah that's bad okay. did it mess with the guardrail really yeah, bad Oh yeah, I saw it was all on fire. Yeah, that probably shut down for a while. Are you nervous, Marge? I feel better now. Oh, you feel better? Okay, good. We're back over here working on it. The center one we couldn't get a T-bolt on, but look how loose this thing has become. I think it was just pushing out because everything got loosened up. We've tightened this since the last event. Just a little bit. We've run around here today. It's loosened up like crazy. Dad has no class. He didn't cut the ends off of zip ties. You get them in the carnival atmosphere and they partake. Back in line at the nacho stand. That's a bad deal there. Golly, what a beautiful car. We drove the whole front end under it. That bumper hanging from that rod. Man, I feel bad for that guy. Beautiful car to be wrecking. I don't know if it ruptured the fuel cell or if a line came off in the wreck, but that was a big fire. It drove the front end in, didn't it? Yeah. 
Everything on that front corner is drove under. That's and awful. They hit the back too on that yeah. Line. That's bad. Okay. I saw y'all in line. Hey. This is the best darn food. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. I should have got you. I haven't ate a thing all day. <laughs> <laughs> you want to slide Let out? me know how it is. You want to slide out? Hey, that's us, Tosh. You like white cars. I like blue. A blue and a white vet. That'd be perfect, huh? Is that it for today? Yep. It messed up the wires for the UT. The wire wires. Ah! Well, at least we got to run them both. Well, I'm gonna go walk to the car show then before everybody leaves. People are gonna be leaving. That's a bummer, huh? Well, at least we got to run them both. We did. Oh man, we got two nice wagons back here. I love this. Check out this Pontiac with a shaker hood wagon. Wow, that's beautiful. Oh, and it's a stick shift wagon. Man, what could be cooler, huh? I like the Mustangs over here, Coyotes, supercharged. Nice Fairlane 500. Wow, look at this Olds wagon. I love the tail lights. Man, they just don't make cars like they used to with the styling for sure. I like the big steelies on it. How crazy is that steering wheel, huh? Oh, they got their old luggage in there, of course. Oh, that's a beautiful car. Actually, a Willis pickup truck here. That's cool. Little Roadrunner guy. I like the big Mopar motor. All oh, the red lines look good on the Chevelle, don't they? And and it's big block. Man, that looks good. I love those red lines. I bet a lot of people didn't even get to run because I was quick getting up there. Now, if you've watched the channel, you know I love these cars, 66 or 7 Nova. Actually, I like 62 all the way to 67 Novas are my favorite. First car was a 63. Second car was a 64. Man, LS swap, blue. This is it right here, guys. Is it a manual? Ah, oh, it's a manual. This is like, this is basically one of my dream cars right here. I love it. He said he's had this car since he was 13. I asked him if it was for sale. <laughs> Good looking build, too. I love it. Still got the shock towers. A lot of them get cut out. I had a VHS 10 Roger High School. I know I don't talk about it much, but we used to flip cars a lot. So I'm not really the type to build a car and keep it forever and ever all men. I know before the channel really took off and we started buying more cars, I know I'd already owned like 65 vehicles before that. So we were constantly buying cars, cleaning them up, flipping them. Tosh is more of a keep it kind of person. I'm more of a sell it kind of person. And look at this huge blower i don't know what that is beautiful i kind of like these old trucks like this i like the headlights and stuff that's really neat you gotta have the drop axle and everything in my opinion oh they got the hood open on the falcon now yeah well oh man very nice beautiful car isn't it i like the air cleaner too that's cool man it's a beautiful car Cleveland motor too. I've always wanted Cleveland. Oh shoot, they got the harmonic balancer off. That ain't no good. We saw this car come in. It's a six cylinder car. It looks to be like basically original side from the hoops. You had one of these, right? With the six cylinders? Exactly. Like this. Identical to this. I haven't had enough Camaros to know the difference on the 67, 8, and 9. I know they're all similar. The green 69 with a hard glide and six cylinder. There goes the sedan with the twin turbo. Did you see it run? I never did see it run. Marge may have. I don't know. I used to have one of them, a black one. I gotta show y'all some wagons over here. Oh yeah, I saw those when we came in. Uh, hey, the blue one on the right is a manual, floor shifted. Oh, I like that. I like that one. Yeah, the Lark's awesome too. But I love that Shaker Hood Pontiac wagon. Yeah, I figured y'all would like it. Oh, it's a wagon. Yeah, it's a wagon, stick right. shifted. Right. I'm sorry. Uh, look, I Shaker just, Hood. I just now. Got look, look at that interior, and that stick shift in there, son. I know, that's what I was saying. It's awesome, isn't it? What could be cooler? I can't think of a single thing. It's a look at a shaker hood, son. You know it is. Oh, I do That's you, isn't it? She likes the big steelies. She likes white and wagon. Look how cool the bumpers are and stuff. How tucked in they are. They go into the tail lights. Got the luggage and everything. A little bit of wing going on. Check out that steering wheel. Oh, oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, I, I knew you would. Forestry service. You're finally right about it this time. <laughs> Usually you're like calling out the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that's Bahama Blue. I could be wrong. 
because I've painted some cars Bahama blue and that kind of looks like it is. I could be wrong. Maybe one day, huh? Beautiful. Probably when we move out of the house and you and mom are, you know, have some money. Aging. Yeah. Aging. When you're, I'm when awesome. you and mom. Look at that Maverick. <laughs> you should see right. Mom's hey. ageless, guys. Yeah, sounds right. They're so much more expensive than the Falcons and stuff. Well, guys, I guess we're going to load these cars up. Now, don't leave yet. We might still see some cool stuff, but we're going to go ahead and load everything up. We got a bunch of new stuff to load up, too, with all our cases. Yeah, we're probably going to stuff it in the cars, I think. Finally, somebody with a servant's heart when you got something to eat. Bryson, you're welcome. Thanks, Bryson. Yeah, I've been fine. We just gotta find room for some casing somewhere. We may have to stuff them in cars, I think. Ralphie wants to ride the dirt bike around, of course. It's not often you get this much pavement. Been on his all day. All that. This is considered living the dream for Ralphie right here. This is all he wants to do. Which, I mean, he'd love to race down the track, but he can't do that yet. Look at this. Full tuck. He probably wet himself when that car started up. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Hey, you calm down. Man, look at that five head. Look at that five head. I got three eggs zoom on that five head. Oh, man. Where that clutch out? Favorite part of today? Cheese fries. Yeah, cheese fries. Cheese fries. <laughs> <laughs> Predictable. Did you like riding down the track with me? Yes. I know Wall liked riding down the track. Yes, loved it. It was great. Well, I think she can drive down the oh, track. Oh, I can drive down the track. Look at this guy. Who's he going to? Oh, gosh. That's a seven head? Seven. I thought he was doing a Keeps commercial. Mm -hmm. Ripper, son. Ripper. You got to get up in the power, man. Exactly. I don't blame him. I would want to do the same thing when I was a kid around right here, for I sure. I see you want to do it now. Oh, yeah. I may or may not have got lost at a couple of events, and they had to come find me somewhere. <laughs> Get her done. Damn, look at that. Look at that big block forward power. That's a beautiful car. I didn't see it earlier. 429. I like the Sonic Blue GT with the Vortex Supercharger. That's probably pretty fun. I love that color. That was the color of my, my GT Mustang. I have I painted that color. And this is like the Falcon we just bought. And a gasser. A lot of you guys are saying turn into a gasser. Well, there's one right there. This is a 65. Ours is a 64 with 65 tail lights. This is my favorite. I like this. It's your favorite car right here? Yes, I would um, have to Herbert say. Herbert Platt. Look at that shifter. So it's a stick shift car. Very cool. Hand painted lettering. They did better on the lettering than we did, didn't they? Absolutely. <laughs> I don't think he even got to run the blasphemy or the rubber duck, did he? I didn't get to watch like you guys did. I don't know who ran it. No, I think it's the drag bike here, I guess. Looks like it's got nitrous on it. Look at that shifter. I guess it's got it's got an air shifter on it. You're always nervous when the bikes run, don't they? I've seen them wreck. Oh yeah. It's not nice. Not good. I like the crew cab C30 there. I've always liked those trucks. I'm not a truck person, but I like trucks that are useful, like crew cab, long beds, things that'll tow, things that'll haul, that are older. I love them. It looks good low like that. I love that. Always wanted one of those trucks. Oh man, they're trying to figure out a way to get that thing on the trailer with no front end on it. I guess that van hauled it here. I'd be sick if I had done that. That thing's way nicer than what we brought here. Ralphie likes them big Kodiaks and stuff. Those are big, big. Yeah, those are big, those big, are big ones, huh? There's all kinds of big equipment here. What's the license plate? 93? Brigadier. Brigadier. 
I wonder what motor a GMC Brigadier has. Probably some That's big diesel. Not a oh, that is too. I always like those when they put the regular truck beds on. They look cool. Oh, you have the um. Yeah, I had the Dollar General bar. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah, that was literally the day we got it running. We drove cross country. Yeah, yeah, that was fun. Good to meet you, man. Yeah, nice to meet you. I love your car, man. Thanks, man. Well, one of my cars is going to have your seats in it now since I got your seats, so. Oh my gosh, he fell off the back. He didn't split. Oh man. Yeah, I got it on video, yeah. Oh man, he didn't know he was back there. He hit the deck, didn't he? He hit it quick. He was watching the whole time. Oh my gosh. I thought he was like, going to like break his leg or something. I know, I was worried. He might have. He didn't want nobody to know it though. Yeah. He took his shoe with him. I know, him. yeah. He did his split. Hey, he when you get knocked out of your shoes, that's not good. He's okay, yeah, he's okay, he's okay. I like the intercooler behind the grill. Oh, yeah, I love it. Nice patina on it. It looks great. Wow. Yeah. Very good, I'll take one. <laughs> You'll take one, please. Look, it's a stick shift too, it's a five speed, Ralphie. Yeah. Very cool. There ain't no reason for us to save for the car show awards. We ain't winning none of them, that's for sure, huh? No, not today we are. So they're doing the car show awards now. We're gonna head out of here. I do love this wagon. The Gremlin did good. It did really good. I wish the transmission would have held up in the Pinto. We're gonna have to do some test runs, maybe in Mexico or something, right. and see if the transmission will shift right then. Cause the only thing we've ever done with it is burnout. So we, we haven't ran it like that, you know? We haven't ran it up to 70, 80 miles an hour like right. this, but Gremlin felt really strong. That car felt strong when it was pulling. I'd love to know which one's faster though. Cause we really didn't get a good pass in this thing at all. And it's just on a hundred shot. That car with more nitrous, with a transmission that hold up, that might be a close race, you know? I don't know. <laughs> hey, that car is so jumpy. Even with that 300 gear, it is so jumpy. You know, you yeah, really yeah we were punching it a couple of times. And it's yeah, just like, he, throws you back. It threw me back a few times. Cause when we had the street casings on there, it would just spin, but now it don't spin. No, it'll spin it just out. goes. Yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of going, let's go out of here. Woo! We ended up putting our seats from Mike Finnegan in here. A bunch of the car parts in here, and we actually were able to fit our whole five casings here for the F-150 in the back of the truck, so surprise me. This camper top comes in handy. I love that Pontiac wagon. Very it's nice. Because it's like stick shift and everything, and the shaker hood, that is so cool. There's a lot of nice cars here, you know? Considering it's not a huge amount of cars, there's a lot of nice ones. That Falcon is awesome too. I can't believe the wreck we saw though. That's one of the worst I wrecks a... I've seen, I... you know? I can't believe I was videoing it. Really cool to meet like Mike Finnegan, never met him before. We've been at a ton of shows at the same time, just never have talked, so he seems like a pretty cool yeah, guy. Yeah, he's real nice. Don't be ribbing or tighter, Chip. We're pulling heavy here. Towing two cars and a big heavy trailer. Not to mention all the things you bought. Things I didn't get a darn thing. <laughs> Squeeze got her lotion. That's good. Time's lot like three, I think. Did you get her some more back there? Yeah, yeah. Got some deals today. Yeah, that was awesome. I love the swap meets. I, Ralphie absolutely yeah. loves the swap meets. That's awesome. Dad likes the swap meets too, so. I just wish we could get to make more passes, but it is what it is. We can't help that wreck. It was fun. Yeah. We're back in Tennessee. Good old Rocky Top. Woo! We completely missed the Georgia sign this morning. We were too tired, I guess. Yeah, it too was early. too early. Yeah. I hadn't really thought about it, but that is the fastest all-motor pass I've ever made. Cool. The closest thing to it is my Mustang ran 820s. Awesome. And that thing did a 760 on, you know, a stumbling out of the hole pass. So, it's not bad. For a 300 gear car with a small block, that's not bad, I think. Well guys, we appreciate you watching our channel. We had fun. I really enjoyed going on the drag trip again. It has been, like I said, almost four years since I've raced something, you know, that kind of fast. 
Was it fun? Oh, I, oh yeah, like if I would have got a better launch with the Pinto and it wouldn't have slipped like that, I would have had a lot more fun with the Pinto. But this car was super fun. Yeah. Um, it was. Just driving it around idling and punching it, it's super fun on the slicks. Oh, like it, it just digs fun. and goes. Yeah, pour one out for your homies. Hey, <laughs> let her Mom. have the juice. Mom. Mom. Let her have the juice. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> hey, she was the animal everybody mentioned. I don't know. Everybody was like, did you bring Granny? Did you bring Granny? I'm like, She's have you beast. seen her? She's 65250. You think we're going to bring her with us? 65250. Hold on, Granny. We had a great time. We met a lot of fans. It was great to meet everybody. We got to shake some hands and babies She's and stuff. She's down in this cave. You're out, buddy. Oh, man. I'm not even going to get any. I wish we would have got to make more passes. I hated to see that Mustang wreck like that. That was bad, terrible. Bad I definitely think that the Pinto would easily go eight. We have really safe timing in this thing. We could definitely put harder spark plugs in it, give it some more timing. I think it needs leaned out now because we had it so rich for the burnouts that it, it seemed to bog on fuel off the line. So I think you could get this car easily down in the low sevens for sure. If you did a gear swap, you might even get her down the sixes, I think. What's she looking at? I don't know what she's looking at. I don't have nothing. I didn't even have the food to begin with, you know? Oh, she's getting oh, right up there. Give it to me. <laughs> Granny, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, everybody was looking for you there. Everybody. You're just the new star of the show, I guess. Did you get on your hair? Squeeze is scared of Granny at night outside because Granny uh, looks kind of creepy in the dark. <laughs> Here, y'all take the RC Cola. I guess you want the RC Cola. Here. You can check out our second channel at... Sleeper You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at... Sleeper You can check out our third channel at... Sleeper Exactly. You can check out our website at thesleeperdude.com. It is the best place to get Sleeper Dude merch, I've heard, because it's the only place. We appreciate all your support with the merchandise. It really helps. We got hats, hoodies, long sleeves. We got new stickers, new shirts, so go check it out. We try to keep it in stock. Every now and then we got squeezy artwork. Woo! We're gonna try to get her painting, huh? Oh, one man yeah. job here. Yeah, <laughs> she can't keep up with the demands. Check out our new Rocky shirts. If you haven't seen those yet, go to the website. Those have been a big hit. Better get some of them while they last. That's our first shirt we've really put a lot of work in the design on. We really are excited with it. Thank you to Holly for all their help. Thank you to Comp Cams as well. We really appreciate their help. That Brawler Carb on the Pinto did much better than the it. 750 we had on there before. I think we just had too much carb on it before. Yeah. Let's go see Rocky and Murphy and the whole group in the field. Sounds good. Here he comes. Hey, he's fast now. Is he fast? Yes. He looks like he's on a hunter shot. Yeah. Man, he's fast. He is speedy now, isn't he? Speedy Gonzalez, he's on your heels. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, he's coming in hot. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. Hey, Rocky. How you doing? You want some vainas? <coughs> hey, Here, there you go, buddy. Yeah. You better get it before Granny gets it. Granny had a whole can. You had a whole can. Look, she's dying for more. Look, yeah. it's hilarious to me that this dog gets on Granny's back. As anti-dog as that goat is. You want some, Rocky? There you go. Oh, look at Lee. She's I can't get in there for Granny hitting the phone. <laughs> he is wound up. I mean, really wound up tonight. I don't ever see him that hyper. <laughs> he missed us today. He's big. Nope. Wayne still ain't got to meet the baby in the house. Nope. Look at all the dirt on her win. nose. Her <laughs> big digging. He has gotten faster. I want to see him. And remember, the wider the bread, the quicker you're dead. <laughs> Get off of him. <laughs> Get him, Murph. Get him. Get him, Murph. Get him. <laughs> he gave up. He's done. He's done. <laughs> he was done in like 60 foot. <laughs> she's only good when she's getting milk. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph is going to back this thing off for me. That's my boy. It looks good on his leg. You like driving that one? Yeah. <laughs> it's rowdy. He was blowing down stuff from the Pinto. <laughs> oh, you little devil. 
You're just a little devil. Why are you out? Oh, oh my feet. Get it. Go oh, out. Oh. <laughs> hey, no, that's mommy. No. She brought the blood. Oh my gosh, she did. 